Hello, welcome to 1778 Ellen Avenue. I have Angie with Angie Song today, and we're going to talk a little bit about wine and also how I got to know Angie. So I met Angie a few years ago, right? Yes. And uh, we met at a restaurant we casually frequented. And one thing you mentioned to me uh, there was you wanted to be the first Asian American song or master song, right, yes. in the nation? Uh, at the time, was I wanted to be the first Chinese-speaking master song in the world, so there was none at the time. Yeah, how so did that turn out? How, how far did you get, and can you tell me a little bit about that experience? Sure, so currently I am an advanced level sommelier with the Cornell Master Sommelier, and that is one level before the master level. There's probably about 2,000 or less of them in the entire world, and probably about 20 of them being a Chinese American. But two years ago in 2017, we did pass the first Chinese speaking master sommelier, and I think he was born and raised in Canada and now in China based. But, um, but yeah, so that's where I am now, and I'm really happy and really proud to be kind of in this little niche. So it's fair to say you're fairly knowledgeable about wine. Yes, I like to say uh -huh. a little more knowledgeable than your average Joe's, yes. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And then tell me a little bit about your business, where you're based out of. Yes, of course. So I started my own business five years ago. It's called Angie Sum. It's an online only wine retailer. So I find really cool, geeky wine deals that you just generally won't be able to find at Costco's or Safeways and things like that. And I sell it through email lists and social media. So very kind of a close knit community feeling. In fact, I, I, I will also hand sell some of the really cool higher end collections to my VIP clients. And that has been the last four years. And it's amazing and this year we're doing much more content giving back because i'm really realizing that a lot of my clients want to learn so much more about wine and i figure it's time to give back so we just continue to grow this community together so it's really fun yes. watching your videos and you should definitely uh subscribe we'll link all her information below uh she really dives into kind of the geeky mm -hmm. uh part of wine but also a lot of fun um, so Angie did bring a bottle today and we're going to go about, uh, the really basic steps of how you should cut the foil, of course. how you should extract the wine and yes. the little, uh, nuances you should, uh, pay attention to when opening a bottle. Sounds great. So we had a Spanish white wine before. I don't know if it's easy to tell on the camera or not. You don't actually want to drink a white wine when it just came out of the fridge because the temperature is actually a little too cold. And when the white wine is too cold, you don't get the full aromatic in the glass. So it's actually very important to take the white wine out of the fridge for somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the temperature. It is winter time now. So this has been out for maybe 30 minutes, but still right now at the perfect temperature, still very cold. And next thing we wanna do is to open it. One of the best tool I think anyone can have is this waiter screw, uh, a cork screw. Very handy, folds up really nicely and usually come with a blade. I see a lot of um, people or there's people that market the spe special foil cutter that I see a lot of people love to use. I have a little pet peeve with that. Those foil cutter will cut on what we call the first lip. As you see, every wine bottle has this big uh, lip right here. So we're always, do you cut on the first lip or the second always lip? Always want to or? cut on the second lip okay. traditionally, but all the foil cutter that you see out on the market cuts on the first lip because the distance between here are usually consistent, but depending on who you're buying the bottle from and who's the bottle maker, the, this distance can be different. So it's really hard for the foil cutter to make something that will cut below the second lip. So you heard it here, Angie, certified sommelier, advanced, second lip. A, advanced sommelier. Advanced, advanced <laughs> sommelier. <laughs> second lip, and there's a reason for that, especially the truth is, if you're just drinking really young wine like this one, it really doesn't matter as much if you cut the first or second lip. But the real reason why you want to cut the second uh, under the second lip is because when you're pouring the wine and when you pull the wine back up, some of the wine could drip back in between uh, your foil and the outside of the bottle. And if you're drinking wine consistently that's older, there could be dirt and mold and whatever have you. And then the next time when you go pour it again, you're pouring that into oh, your glass. Gosh. So that's the main reason why. And it's just a pet peeve of mine because that's what we were taught. So the quarter master on me, I always tell everyone to cut a second lip. And when you cut it, just have your finger right by the blade and maybe another, your thumb supporting it the opposite end. And you can just do a really nice half circle. Sometimes you can, and another half circle from behind. So this time I'm kind of cutting from behind and holding it with my, my, my uh, uh, pointing finger. And then the other trick is you want to cut 
kind of a little um, a little slip right okay. up here mm -hmm. and makes it easier to take out your foil once you do that. And then you can just use the, the, the thing and just, yeah. I can take that. Thank you. So plenty of practice. Yes, plenty of practice. And then after that, I think a lot of people are really nervous using the waiter screw, and a lot. I see a lot of people like to use. I don't know what you call those, like the snowman or whatever. Oh, like the, the has yeah, the two yeah, wings. Right. I never use that because it it usually have a really loose, um, I guess, um, a loose kind of structure. Doesn't, doesn't fit. Yeah, it doesn't right. really fit that well. But people are afraid to use it because they always. A lot of people are nervous about the um, the course not going down straight. So just hold it almost like you're holding a pencil. With the pointing part and once you have the pointy part uh, right in the middle you just want to push down into the middle of the cord and at this point just keep it straight and you just keep turning and another common mistake is i see a lot of people will stop right here and start trying to pull up the cord remember the corkscrew is about two inches long for a reason because that's how long your cord is so you want to screw it all the way down or else you risk breaking the cord because if Got you don't it. screw it all the way down and you start pulling sometimes the cord will start breaking right on the bottom i actually did that last night you, did you really I did, oh I no did, yes. okay so go all the way down and that's why there uh the better uh, mm -hmm. core waiter the screw um the better wait way staff's core screw has two little lever that's for just that reason. So once you get all the way down, you can put the first lever right on the side and just and just make sure you secure it with your hand. Mm -hmm. And then you can just pull all the way up. Right. And then again, now you use the second lever. Once again, right by the, the, the side of the glass, secure it with your hand so it doesn't go anywhere. And then pull. And that is clever. Oh, that's, Look at that. That's all there is to it. So I, this is a very slow, hopefully step-by-step -step way of doing it. It takes a little bit of practice, but this is the kind of practice I don't mind doing, right? <laughs> right. Like opening more wine. So there you go. Well, thank you for showing us the trips of the waiter corkscrew and then how to properly remove the foil. Yes. If you want to hear more about Angie, uh, all her information is below, but uh, they could find you at, is it angiesong.com? Yes. You can subscribe to www.angiesong.com. I have a weekly recap on all the videos I did that week, and I also send out a really great wine deal periodically. And also, uh, stay tuned. We have four amazing videos, uh, lots of content coming up with Angie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.